Hello and welcome back everybody to a new video. It's been a while, I know. I just, you know, been doing a lot of uh, lifestyle changes. I've been working out, going out, having summer vacation and whatnot. But here we are again, uh, recording a subject spotlight. So, without further ado, welcome to a Eternal Return subject spotlight featuring Piolo. So, this is a new character, uh, f relatively new. Uh, but uh, he does few things, three, a few cool things in my opinion, that I actually like in video games in general, which is having a hooker who can do damage. You know, someone who can, you know, throw something. Like, it's basically like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. So, yeah. Uh, usually when you see someone who can hook people, usually it's as a support. I really don't like that. I want, a pe I want a character that actually does damage. So, yeah, he does that. I really like that. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, let's start off with his passive unmatched discipline. Piolo is unaffected by cooldown reduction. Any amount of cooldown reduction in on Piolo is instead converted to attack speed. Whenever Piolo rests for 3 or more seconds, Piolo goes into training. So, and during this state, Piolo gains a buff. A, a 10 stack of well-trained, if you will. Uh, if Piolo casts the Punisher while well-trained, his next basic attack will critically strike. So... This is uh, something that actually mechanic that exists in the game, but it has never been used. I think I'm pretty sure that it has never been used as an ability, as like an interaction uh, with an ability. So it's a it's a cool design. So whenever he rests, he doesn't really rest. He just trains, and you can see the rest bar uh, kind of fills up. And uh, yeah. And uh, the uh, the Punisher is his ultimate. So after he uses his ultimate, his next attack will crit. It doesn't strike me as an auto attack uh, kind of character, which is weird. He's he, he feels more like a spell slinger, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's check out his uh, Q. It's called Helicopter Spin. It has two, uh, you know, two versions of it, I guess. Uh, the first one is like I said helicopter uh, helicopter spin the second one is called choke slam so uh, the gist of it he does a lot of flurry damage and the more you take damage the more the damage will increase obviously but it's just not uh, just accumulative damage it's also the the damage bar will you will actually take more damage not just accumulative accumulative I guess but yeah so you just basically uh, you take more damage the longer you stay in it, in it you know so instead of think of it don't think of it as like a damage over time more like an increasing damage over time that if that makes sense so yeah you just gotta get out as soon as possible man you don't want to be hit by this ability so the second part of it is called choke slam, and uh, yeah. So as you can see, it has like center and outer rims. You take less damage on the outer rims, and you take more damage during uh, if you are in the dead center. So his uh, next ability is called figure figure eight and hammer throw. So uh, while in this state, he becomes unstoppable, uh, and he can deflect projectiles. So he's basically like a Yasuo wind wall. He can, when I say deflect, doesn't mean like he he returns the projectiles. He just blocks them. Uh, so it's pretty much useless against melee unless the melee uh, attacker is gonna use some CC on you. So that that's the only way it's kind of useful in melee situation. Uh, however, the second component is called the the hammer throw. It's just uh, uh, an ability that does damage later on but and has increased movement speed so it's a really good maneuverability if you will it's not just it's not just you know uh, aoe attack so here we are to my favorite ability of his the chain so it's not really a chain it's kind of weird he can throw his nunchucks so uh i really like this ability it's called stall throw and skyward pummel and uh, the first part of it, he, he the longer you charge it, it's char charge ability. The longer you charge it, the uh, the more distance it will, you know, uh, travel. Uh, however, uh, it has two, you know, two different types of damages. 
and I don't know why it has th it has that. I'm guessing they will introduce an anti dash mechanic because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to do so. So the reason why is he uh, the first part of the damage ac comes when he the the, the nunchuck makes contact with your body. The second part comes in when after he dashes and collides with you, he does more damage. So. I'm guessing they're gonna introduce a character that will maybe able to interrupt you midway through because otherwise you could, they could have you know combined the two numbers and just made them uh, one type of damage unless I'm you know blinking on something uh, blanking on something maybe like there are champions or rather champions there are subjects who can actually dash away. Uh, even if they're hit, so ooh, because wait, this this is not it's not a CC, is it? Yeah, I don't think it's a CC. I don't think the target is rooted in place. Doesn't say anywhere that they are rooted in place. So I'm guessing they can dash away. That could be another thing, another reason. So let's see in the the uh, other uh, uh, the other part of the ability, Skyward Pummel. So let's see. Uh, whoa. Oh, jeez. Come on. So, the cooldowns on his abilities are pretty practically fixed, like, uh, since he, he's not affected by cooldown reduction. So, and this is the second part of, uh, uh, you know, the chain, the E. It's basically a damage ability that knocks up, uh, enemies. And let's get into his ultimate, the Punisher. So, the the Punisher ability only works if he has at least two stacks of his passive. So, let's see. And he can all stack that passive. Uh, and you can use the ability as much as you can, as long as you have, uh, you know, two stacks of passive of, of well-trained or whatever. I don't know what's that called. But, yeah. As long as you have two, at least two stacks, you can use this ability, which is a dash and deals damage, but nothing else interesting. And it can reduce all of the, the cooldowns of your abilities by one second. Uh, so let's see that in action. It's the, the cool, like the cooldown reduction is interesting, but it's not much. So yeah, don't really. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be felt, right? Unless in it's an extended fight, then yeah, it could be felt. Anyway, so uh, and obviously his weapon of choice is the nunchucks. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to join the church, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.